Happy Friday, everyone. Let's do a book review. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Through the Pages with D. So today I am talking about KJ Parker's Pulling the Wings Off Angels. Let me start by saying KJ Parker is very quickly becoming one of my favourite authors. I have read two of his books now, um, or two of their books. Um, part of the Salaninus series or the fan-based trilogy of Salaninus books. Um, the Devil You Know, and this one, Pulling the Wings Off Angels. Now, this was wonderfully gifted to me by Eva from She Was Only Eva. Um, brilliant choice, Eva. Perfect choice. I have thoroughly, thoroughly loved this little novella. It's so good. What I love about KJ Parker is his sense of humour. He has the perfect sense of humour for me. I get every single quirky line every sarcasm every paradox that he plays on on sort of religion i love his sense of humor i really do so this book the principle of it is that the main character who is not named you are in gambling debts and you are caught out by i think his name is floris and he has caught you cheating and is basically going to take your body parts unless you pay up. And Floris has heard rumour that your grandfather has an angel held captive. And he wants the angel. And following on from this, a madcap adventure ensues. And it's just chaos, basically. It's absolute chaos. It is crazy. It is mad. It's so good so superb to say that it's such a simple context really what he's gone off which is this clerical student who is basically just trying to recoup some money um his grandfather was quite a wealthy man but for some reason as you are the pov you no longer have any money and you're trying to recap and sort of sort out your gambling debts and you now are in debt to Floris and he's a very scary man he has obviously some muscle behind him but it's set in a particular period it doesn't necessarily say what period but you know it's set in a period but it's written in a very modern day context even though it's set within a period time it has this very modern day feel to the vol vocabulary and the language in which the book is written in. And I absolutely love this. It draws me in. I can't get enough of it. I really just love that writing style, how we're talking about this particular period in time or this particular place, but everything is so here and so now and so modern. And even though it's kind of gives this feel of like, desert surroundings and maybe um sort of an israeli egyptian kind of that kind of feel you still feel like it's here like you could literally be here talking within this i i, I don't really know how to explain i just really really love that whole idea of how kj parker goes about what they do they just take these amazing scenarios and make them feel very very real and very very funny there's so much humour. It's so funny. So, obviously, things happen. Things don't go to plan. I don't really want to give too much away because with it being a, a novella, you, I could end up giving too much away. But there is an angel and we are trying to get this angel potentially from where she is to go with Floris and you the, the the pov to a different part of the city and it's the whole way that you're going to go about that it's how you're going to achieve this it's the morals the moral implications within this story are you doing morally right or morally wrong 
or have your morals already been pre preconceived and predecided? Have your potential family members already put you in a scenario where it really doesn't matter what you do, you owe a debt because of your hereditary and your ancestors. So you have this debt to pay regardless of what you do. But your own moral compass is telling you that certain things should be done and certain things shouldn't be done. But the humour that's within that, it's so good. I, I seriously cannot get enough of KJ Parker. Honestly, with it being a novella, if I tell you too much more, then I'll be, I would be literally telling you the story and there wouldn't really be much point in, in you reading it because I would just literally be, you know, saying to you, this is what happens. But for... A single POV where, again, you, you don't get a name, you're just going along with the character and you are meeting these people and you are going through this adventure. And for such small information, well, I say small information, it's not really small information. You get plenty of information, but you feel very much with KJ Parker like any of his or their books could be done as a play. There's nothing like fantastical and, st and there's not this great big sort of um, elaborate surroundings or descriptions of places. You get enough of a vibe from how KJ Parker writes to know where you are and what it looks like. But it could quite easily become a screenplay. It's, it's, it's that good it could actually be a very funny screenplay or theatre production. And that's what I really enjoy about them. They're very, very easy to visualise. You're right there with the characters. You, It's kind of a um, a Monty Python type feel. It's it's not that humour, because I'm not particularly that fond of Monty Python's humour. Life of Brian was okay. It had its funny moments. So if you, if you imagine Life of Brian inside this KJ Parker novella, then you're kind of seeing what it, what it is you're looking at. I keep whacking me, Mike. What it is you're potentially looking at reading. There's very... It's just so much fun with quite a complex situation going on. Um, very similar to The Devil You Know, where it's kind of religious based. And are we, again, that kind of situation of who can outwit who? Who's the smarter? In The Devil You Know, it's a Salonimus smarter than the devil. And Salonimus too is very much predominant in this book also, which I must admit, I was very, very happy about because Salinus is a fantastic character. Not only is, is he the most intelligent man of this time, he's also got quite a good wit. And in The Devil You Know, he may or may not outsmart the demon. He has a part to play in this tale too. So the question is, has Salinus had a part to play in this plan? And has Salinus managed to outsmart God? Because that's kind of what is being attempted here is, can God be outsmarted? And can God potentially be dethroned from his position? And that's what pulling the wings off angels about. It's a fantastic, fantastic, short, fast novella. But even though it's short, even though it's fast, you will not be disappointed because it's a absolutely fantastic. If you're looking for something like a palate cleanser, just something quick to fill in between some novellas that you've got on your TBR and you just maybe in that space where you're like, oh, I could just do with a breath of, breath of fresh air, just something just to pick me back up out of, maybe you've just read something that's a little bit sort of, you know, a bit slumpy and a bit depressive and a bit grim dark and you're thinking, oh, I could really do with something to just lighten the mood. Pulling the wings off angels. The devil you know. KJ Parker, from my experiences, and granted it's only two, but... They just have this ability to bring a book to life. They really do. This, this Pulling the Wings Off Angels is a lively, page-turner, um, fun adventure ride with, yes, some quite important decisions that have to be made from a moral perspective and from a, a religious perspective. But it's just so refreshing and so light and so... 
it's not really a down dark book it's it's got the humor that keeps it light and funny and entertaining and i have really really enjoyed it and as i say kj parker is absolutely becoming fast paced potentially one my favorite author if not one of them i have to read more i have to i absolutely have to read more kj parker because if all the rest of his works are anything to go off by these two novellas then I am sold. He is he the she the, I don't even know it, what the 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 um, orientation of the author is. If that is the sort of prom, pre, uh, premise of their their way of writing, I'm in. I'm all in. I am a huge KJ Parker fan, and I want more. I absolutely want more KJ Parker. Sold. So that's my review of pulling the wings off angels. Hope it wasn't too confusing. Just to say, five hats. Absolutely, five hats. Fantastic, brilliant. Thank you, Eva. I had a great time reading that, so thank you so much. I am definitely a KJ Parker fan. Okay, guys. So it's Friday. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Yes, I have the same hoodie on as I did on Wednesday because I am double filming on the same day. Um, I just need to catch up on some books. That's why I'm doing that, so... You guys have yourself a great day. Have yourself a great weekend. I will see you again now on Monday. Other than that, you all take care. Look after each other. Reach out to people if you haven't spoken to them in a while. Let them know you're still there and you care. Be kind to people. You know, if you see somebody who's homeless, try and help them. It means the world to them. Um, And just spread as much joy and happiness as you can in the world. Because it truly does make a difference to some people. And that's me. So I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. I've been Dee. And this is Through the Pages. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.